everybody. Uh, yeah, I, our stream kind of went down there. I see chat. You're kind of like, what happened? Well, we're back. <laughs> um, and just a reminder, we may be pixelated because Discord's kind of having issues today. But just have us on in the background. Start typing things. Type tweets about how cute we look in 8-bit and enjoy. <laughs> um, all right. We're going to get to our next couple of topics. Let's start with the Avengers DLC and news announcements. Caboose. Yeah, uh, so a couple of days ago, Marvel's Avengers finally got an update. Well, not like an update, but like a news update, if you will. Um, We got a war table. It wasn't a stream this time. They just posted a YouTube video where they went over Kate Bishop, who is the upcoming DLC character, the first DLC character. Uh, Mm -hmm. She's going to be arriving now officially on December 8th, which is nice. Uh, We also got some information about the DLC that will follow Kate Bishop, which is Hawkeye. That's going to be coming in 2021. It's called Future Imperfect. They showed a little teaser for it, which was sweet. We got to see uh, Maestro, and he's sitting on a throne. There's a bunch of Avengers items at his feet, one of them being Black Panther's helmet, which is a huge tease. Um, And then Hawkeye's DLC will be arriving in early 2021. They said that we're going to be getting some new game players. Just a, a look into that very soon. So I'm hoping within the next month, we're going to be able to see what Hawkeye's DLC is like. Also coming in early 2021 is the official next-gen version of the game. You can play the game on next-gen right now, and there are performance upgrades just because of the fact that it's better hardware. Uh, and then the load times, of course, all that stuff applies. But the actual like full-on next-gen version of the game is going to be coming in early 2021, and there is a free upgrade for that. So that's great. Um, and yeah, I mean, I guess this is them trying to win some people back there's been a lot of reports out there about the fact that 98 percent of the pc player base has left the game um there's there's a lot of people who are saying that the game is dead and you know like it's definitely not in the greatest spot right now that much is for sure it's certainly got some work that needs to be done but i'm hoping that whatever dlc they got here coming on december 8th is going to be the beginning of a new wave for Marvel's Avengers. Yeah. The only thing that's unfortunate, the only reason why a lot of people are saying this is going on the same path of Anthem, and the only reason why it may seem that way is because it's just it, it's a game that needed more time. It's a game that didn't have enough time to just get developed. There were a lot of bugs at launch, and when a game comes out and has a ton of bugs, and not just like random little bugs, you know, not just you know, you clipping into something or whatever. No, like straight up game breaking stuff, like people's saves getting deleted, you falling out of the world, things like that, that interrupt gameplay or ruin your experience. When things like that happen at launch, they need to be prioritized over everything else. And so when they have DLC that's planned for a certain date, but they got to work on all these bugs and get those fixed, they have to push that DLC. And that's the unfortunate reality of it. That's the unfortunate situation here. They have mentioned that with what everything that's going on with uh, with COVID has certainly affected their ability to work as efficiently as they would have otherwise. Um, I believe there was also some fires in California that they kind of got affected by. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I, I feel for the developers, one thing that I was saying in a video that I'd made on all this stuff is that I'm kind of getting sick of the term that the developers aren't listening to you for any game. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I feel like like I'm over that notion. You know, developers listen. They listen to you. They see what you're saying, especially all the nasty comments. They see those <laughs> ones. Oh, yeah. And just so you know, like, the people that are working on these games, the people that you send those nasty comments towards, they are human beings. They are not programmed machines that make video games. And it's like, all of this is for your entertainment. You know, like this is is for nothing beyond that. If anything, I would be the one to complain because I'm the one who creates content and I work for that as a career. So I should be the one who's complaining that there's problems with the game, but I'm not. I'm trying to reason with the developers and understand that they're clearly not in the most ideal situation to make a game or even fix and add DLC to a game. So I got to give them the benefit of the doubt in that they're trying. You know, granted, they could still come out right. and make a game that's not good. You know, I have my problems with Marvel's Avengers. I think that it definitely should have been delayed and just not come out when it did. But I can't fault the developers for, like, working. You know, like, they're, they're trying to fix the game and make it a good experience for everybody to play. And they're also 
trying to add new content for people. And this is free content. Mm -hmm. All this DLC yeah. is coming at no additional cost. On December oh, really? 8th, you're going to have Kate Bishop available to play just, just like that. In yeah. early 2021, when Hawkeye arrives, he'll be available to play just like that. Whenever Black, Pla Black Panther arrives, because we know he's going to be DLC, he's going to be playable for free as well. All that yeah. stuff is free to you. Wow. And like, I'm not saying that the, the game has to be void of criticism. Like it's okay to criticize the game, but I think some people are just getting a little too crazy about it. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm just over the are they, if you're not listening. Are they though? Like people yes. are spending, people are spending money. Okay. And I, I like, I'm not, okay. I understand there's going to be trolls out there that like, just go way overboard. Like you shouldn't be sending threatening messages to anyone who's creating a game. However, as a fan, I think it is okay to express that you are disappointed or frustrated with the release of the game and how it's been so far. Um, like you mentioned, the game breaking glitches throughout the game um, that happens, as well as delivering a game that doesn't seem complete, right? I think you're on you're on the nose there. They release a game way too early. They should have mm -hmm. let it release a little bit later. They were also releasing at a weird time with the pandemic. Um, right. But how much of that can we really be be used as an excuse? Like I was really psyched for Marvel's Avengers and obviously Square Enix was psyched as well because they spent $200 million on the game. That's, yep. all, that's a lot of money yep. for the game. And I wonder if that came because it was the Avengers IP. I wonder if it's because the Avengers, everyone knows that's the big brand. And I feel like when they were marketing the game, they were selling it as you're playing as an Avenger. Yep. This is what you're getting. Mm -hmm. Okay, but let's go into the gameplay. How is this game? How is yeah, the yeah, game yeah. going to play? And I feel like they're making up with it for that now. And it's great that they're giving you and delivering you all of this free content. But I, I feel like it won't really sway people unless it delivers um, really well. So again, I, I don't think the game should be void of criticism. I criticize the game. I, I, I flat out admit I stopped playing the game for like a month because I was I was sick of the gameplay loop. I was not feeling it. I was not having fun anymore. Um, that that's okay to criticize the game. But to give you a couple of examples to way to the way that some people just go above and beyond to criticize mm -hmm. the game. Um, first of all, when it was announced that the game had lost apparently like $63 million for Square Enix, that was like celebrated. And yeah. I just cannot, <laughs> I cannot wrap my head around that. Yeah, you know, that, like, that's people's jobs. Like, like people what? could be losing their jobs because their game didn't perform well. Yeah, like that's, um, that's just crazy to me. Another instance um, in Spider-Man remastered, um, uh, what's his name? Sorry, I can't remember. Greg Miller, uh, at Kind of Funny, he posted a clip of him taking like a picture of the Avengers Tower. And right. in Spider-Man PS4, when you take the picture, Spider-Man, he says like a, he says some dialogue where he's like, oh, I wonder where the Avengers are now. I think they're on the West Coast doing something. Oh no. Um, and, so, so, and so some people thought that that connected the two games. Now granted, both developers have said the game's not connected. However, Greg Miller posted a, a clip of him playing Spider-Man Remastered. And apparently it seemed like the quote was cut off so that he doesn't mention that the Avengers are on the West Coast. And people were taking that as like Insomniac really trying to disassociate from the Avengers game because of its poor performance. It turns out that because of something that was happening in game, the quote actually just gets cut off. Like that full quote, him it's saying that they're on the West Coast, yeah. it's still in the yeah, game. Yeah, it's still in the game. But again, people see that and they like, they almost get excited that yeah. there's something negative that they can get they can yeah. get hyped about for the Avengers game. And even go back to when the game was coming out. Yeah. Sorry to cut you off, Camille, but even go back when the game was coming out and they had the launch trailer. It was a CGI trailer and people are putting out articles like, oh, the, there's a CGI trailer for the Avengers game and it looks nothing like the game actually looks in game. It's like, that's the case that's for every CGI yeah. trailer for every game that's ever been made. People just go above and beyond yeah. To hate on this game. Another example that I could bring up, and this is the last one I'll bring up. At the very beginning of the game, when you're playing as Thor during the A-Day mission, it'll say press triangle to do the, the slam. Sure. Yeah. If you don't press it, the game freezes and waits for you to hit the button prompt. People are like, what the hell is this? Wait, the same thing happens in Spider-Man. The first opening swing, if you don't press the right trigger, the game will stop and wait for you to swing. I tested this out in Spider-Man Miles Morales. It's the same case in that game. No one bats an eye. It's just that people want to find something to complain about with Avengers. Right. 
and you really don't got to dig that deep like, to complain. Yeah. You, there's there's plenty of stuff you could point out that are way out in the open to to point out as a negative or a complaint or a criticism for the game. But it's just like I see people online who are just digging for yeah. reasons to hate on it, and it's like, man. Get over it. Just say yeah. you don't like the game and move on. Yeah. And I feel like you're so passionate about this because you create content around the Avengers. Um, so you're seeing a lot of that like nastiness. I, yeah. I, I don't see too much of it because, you know, I don't I don't heavily cover that game. Mm. I do want to point out, though, that there are some people like Hunter Slasher 13 in chat who says, oh, yeah, Avengers is still a thing. Still never beat the game. So I feel because of all the turtle else at release, yep. a lot of people really didn't get the chance to jump in and sure. fully right. um, experience yeah. the game. Mm -hmm. So hopefully with these updates, uh, like Die More 7 says, you know, the fact that the Square Enix is still listening to the community and applying those changes to the game while at home is amazing. And, and I feel like as long as they're listening to the community, which they are, and providing that content for people to now try to get into the game, try to win back their players. I, I hope that it's not an anthem situation. I hope it's successful. Mm -hmm. Me too. Me too. And, and, and to that point, speaking from personal experience, I'm a lapsed Marvel's Avengers fan. I think I put in a lot more time than vast majority of, of people did and still dropped off because there just wasn't that much compelling uh, content in the end game. Mm -hmm. I, I really like what I see here with Kate Bishop. I think her moveset is awesome. I think the the storyline that they're setting is really cool. And of course, that end, end stinger was was awesome. My my big thing now is comes to twofold is like I just don't think that Kate Bishop is gonna move the needle for people who haven't picked up the yeah. game already. I don't think she's the character for that. I think that there's potential for her to be the character for people like me or like Boost to come back in and be like, okay, I'm gonna check this character out, go through her story, etc. I kind of just want to see what their timeline is for ongoing support. Mm -hmm. I know that there's like a month in between Kate Bishop and then Hawkeye. And then, you know, we're still dealing with uh, Black Panther in the future, Spider-Man. I just want to know, like, what does that look like? Like, how far away is Black Panther? How far away is the other big tentpole character to bring right. more people into the fold? Because I want to see this game succeed. And I want to see the community blow up like it should. It deserves to. Yeah. Uh, it just needs a little more massaging, in my opinion. Yeah. So, do you back um, one of the or brought one of those bigger characters if they're trying to really revitalize the game? Because I personally think this might have been a smart option. Usually, if you went through a huge loss in terms of the performance that you were expecting from a game, you would want that time to kind of get it to par and then remarket it. I would think market sure. it as this yeah. huge great experience so i feel like now getting players in providing the free content it's kind of like a test for square enix to see okay what is the community saying now after these updates let's feel it out and then release like our black panther sure but maybe kaboots could correct me if i'm wrong but black panther was supposed to be the first one it just that's the rumor right that's right. what a lot of people have speculated um because and and then of course, Chad because of Bozeman, yeah. the situation, um, they had to to put that on hold. Uh, I think as well, seeing the Black Panther helmet in that little Hawkeye DLC trailer kind of further confirms that because mm -hmm. all the other like little uh, accessories that you see at Maestro's feet are for the Avengers that are in the game already. Yeah. You, know, you see Iron Man's helmet, you see Captain America's shield, Thor's hammer, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and so to have Black Panther's helmet there among all those made it feel like he was supposed to be in the game already, and that was supposed to be like to to let you know, like, oh, hey, he's one of those Avengers that have fallen from this mm -hmm. dark future. Um, but again, because of the situation, uh, which I still I find that very classy what they did. Um, sure. Which they had to. Right. Um, and so because of that situation, they had to delay the Black Panther DLC. I still look forward to seeing what that character will be like in the game, because, again, even even if we don't know for sure. If uh, if he was supposed to be the first DLC, like we know for sure he's going to be in the game. Like, yeah. Yeah. there's no shot Black Panther's not DLC. Um, so I look forward to seeing what that character is going to be like. For sure, I I just feel like they're they're making do with what they have at this point, and I don't think that like based off everything I've seen and experienced, I don't think that Kate Bishop was intended to be the first one to kind of you know blow those gaze open and be like, okay, right. everyone, now's your time to jump in. I think Black Panther was supposed to be that character, but yeah, because Black Panther's kind of like that big 
character, right? And then exactly where they could be like, okay, well now let's let's have a little bit of fun, do something creative, you know? Yeah. 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 And I think the timeline was supposed to be pulled back even more to be like, okay, we're starting support in October and then we start moving forward. Not wait uh, yeah. at this point, like three months after release. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, it's it's not the best for the community, but I hope this is the first step in the right direction. Me too. Yeah, same here. And there is so much potential for that roster. I, I know Die More Seven mentioned that in chat as well. So uh there there's just endless opportunities for Square Enix. Just hopefully they really could get the ball rolling and and get more players back in. I'm excited to try it out when when it when does come out. players back with the DLC. Yeah, exactly. Maybe, stop, maybe people will stop being negative then and be like, oh, this game is great now. They yeah. listen to it. No, the <laughs> trolls will still be there, unfortunately. Yeah, but the trolls we'll are always there, them. but we'll, we'll ignore them. <laughs>